Almighty Father and Eternal God, you are all powerful and live forever in light and joy. Look with love and pity, we beg you, on those men and women who bravely fought, gallantly died, and served their country. By laying down their lives and dedicating their lives, they showed supreme love for others. Accept, we ask you, their sacrifice and their belief in the justice of the cause for which they devoted their lives. Let their offering be not in vain. Please forgive any faults that they may have committed. Speedily, we implore you, bring them into your presence where fear, sadness, mourning, and death cannot exist. Have pity in your loving kindness on those they leave behind. In your own unsearchable ways, make good for their absence, and lavishly bestow your love and consolations on those deprived of their presence. This we ask that you hold us all in the hollow of your hand. Amen. Amen. Today, uh, we gather, as we play uh, Echo Taps, uh, we gather on Armed Forces Day to reflect and pay tribute to the soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines uh, who have served our country and to whom we owe an immeasurable debt of gratitude. They continue to ensure that America remains a beacon of hope and shines brightly for the whole world to see. My friends, though we honor them today, let us take it upon ourselves to demonstrate our gratitude for their service and their dedication to these United States each and every day. For the men and women who continue to defend our freedom, I thank you for your vigilance, for your service, uh, and to your honored families who have served and sacrificed in their own way. We thank you for your patriotism. And whether you are serving just a few miles away or across the oceans and continents, and uh, please know that our thoughts and prayers are with you each and every day. And to those of you here this afternoon who have served in uniform, let us say again, thank you to you and again to your families for all that you have done to keep our nation strong. As I said, we owe you an immense debt of gratitude that can never fully be repaid, especially to the Gold Star families and to those uh, in uniform who have given the ultimate sacrifice. To all of you, let me say that I look forward to continuing to serve you and the Congress with the same level of distinction and commitment that you have provided for all of us. Again, a special thanks to uh, our, all of our uh, men and women in uniform here, who are here today, our honored veterans, uh, to Michael Jackson, Director Yarn, uh, Captain Green, and to everyone who had a hand in making this day possible. Thank you. May God continue to bless our men and women in uniform, especially those who are serving uh, overseas, far from home, in harm's way. May God continue to bless our honored veterans, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you. If I look across this veranda, I see a bunch of men and women and children that love our country just as much as I love it. These are not tears of sadness, they're tears of joy. Because we love each other. So let us learn from the Civil War. Let us stop the divisive ways that tend to dominate the airways. Let us change the narrative on this Armed Forces Day as we prepare ourselves to honor our fallen leading into Memorial Day weekend. To embrace our Gold Star families. Let them continue to inspire us because they continue to champion uh, our efforts and their causes. 
Let us bring our youth and explain to them what the important meaning of what sacrifice means. Service before self. And again, I want to thank you all on behalf of the leadership here at our Memorial Cemetery, our team here. Uh, they're a great group of men and women that work here dedicated for all of us. God bless you, and please enjoy your weekend. Have a safe weekend. Thank you. America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh.